All right, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I cried this morning over Monica. That's great, Donald. Okay, so All right, viewers, me, I guess. last time we got to Lily Cove City and we did a beauty contest for the hell of it, but now we're gonna go ahead and continue the main story to the game. Where the hell is Joe? Did he fall asleep on his computer again? He said he's hopping on in a second. Why, hello there, my beautiful people of this magnificent country. Shut the hell country. up, Joe. Okay, hi, Joe. Real quick, just gonna get Pringles back on the team before moving on here. Ooh, that's so nice of you, Obama, to get one of my favorite team members back on the team right as I hop on the call. Such a nice gesture. Any special reason you're being so nice to me on this day, specifically? Literally has nothing to do with you, Joe. He's just our water type. Yeah, why are you acting so weird, Joe? Did you accidentally take an extra dose of your medicine this morning? You know you're not supposed to double up on things if you forgot to take one the day before or something? No, Donald, I didn't fucking forget to. It's all right, you know what? Never mind. Does something seem a little different this time around, boys? Well, actually, now that you mention it, yeah, Joe, something's off with the profile pictures oh, here. Oh, really? And what might that be? Hmm, hard to tell. Donald, did you get a new headset? Are you fucking me right now? Gross, Joe. And yes, Obama, I certainly did. Thank you for noticing. The old one just wasn't fitting well on my head, but these are so much more comfortable. They definitely suit you well, DT. Thank you, Barry. I agree completely. Oh, my God. Literally fuck both of you. Obama, what are you doing? Well, Joe, I don't know if you deserve to know the answer to that. You're being very rude today. This is a prank, right? Hey, Obama, may I ask, what are you doing, kind sir? Of course, Donald. So because you guys didn't want to clear out the bag last time I'm doing so right now, there's some items we just don't really need, like the, the lava cookie, when we'll just load up on full heels anyway. The charcoal, since we don't even have a fire move on the team, evolution stones, shit like that. Also, I'm sure there's some useless TMs we definitely won't ever touch we can make some cash off of. Do you guys seriously not know what today is? Holy hell, Joe, happy fucking birthday. Will you get over it now? You're literally like 265 years old. You would think you'd be over celebrating this by now? Yeah, seriously, Joe, we're just messing with you. Happy birthday, man. Oh, wow. Uh, now I feel like an ass. You guys knew the whole time? Of course, Joe, the three of us are like best friends. There's no way we'd forget about this. Yeah, of course we'd remember Joe. Wait, remember what? Holy shit, Joe, I'm gonna give you a fucking lobotomy. Nothing, Joe. Viewers make sure to wish Joe a happy birthday, but for now we're moving on. Oh shit, right, today's my birthday, guys. Oh my God. What's the plan for the episode, Obama? Are you gonna buy me some dolls since you're already here? No, Joe, buy your dolls on your own time. You can do your secret-based special episode whenever you want, so just take care of it. All right, you know what? That makes sense. Some of the dolls are trash anyway. Literally all of them are trash, Joe. They are dolls. Obama, seriously, though, give us an actual intro. What are we doing today? Right, so today we're going to... Actually, first things first, I'm going to need a few HMs today. So real quick, going to make Mini our HM user for the day. No big deal, though because the move deleter is right here in Lily Cove. Most useful she'll be okay, anyway. Okay, so today, I'm gonna go through that route south of Mount Pyre for some items and some training. And then I'm gonna take care of the magma base and the maxi fight. I think that will be enough for my episode, and then, Joe, you can take care of the aqua stuff next time. Sounds like a good plan to me, boys. So something like Joe gets the aqua stuff next time, and maybe something else, I'll explore Moss Deep after that and do the space station and that ice cave place. I want to leave the gym for you, Obama, because you haven't gotten a gym battle since, like, Brawley, and that seems unfair to me. Yeah, well, whatever happens, happens, Donald. But thank you. I would like to do the seventh gym, honestly. The seventh and eighth gym in this game do have some pretty badass designs. The seventh gym in Emerald is way cooler than the seventh gym in Ruby and Sapphire, no doubt about that. Okay, as much as I love the original Hoenn games, I will admit the seventh gym design in those was pretty much just a headache. Yeah, facts, Joe, it really was. Also, really quick, what the hell is even down in this route? You said you're gonna go explore. I don't think I've ever actually gone through it. Yeah, you and, and, and many others, Joe, it connects us to the Berry Masters house, but it can only be explored from this direction and it's overall completely unnecessary. Just some items and trainers to get experience from, as Barack said. Yeah, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there's some more important stuff here, like the Gyaradocyte and even the Eviolite. But 
in this game, it's definitely one of the most forgotten routes on the hey, map. Hey, Obama, not to interrupt or anything. But you did. But our whole team is like level 32 through 34 right now. Do you know what that means? Oh, shit, I know what that means, Donald. True, you're right. I will go ahead and prioritize training Sky this episode. That's a good point. We should definitely be able to evolve him by the end of the day. Hell yeah, what a badass Pokemon Sceptile is. And that's like entirely from how cool Ashes was in the anime. Holy shit, Joe. You're actually cooking with that one for once. Everyone forgets that Sceptile pretty much 1v1 that dude's Dark Rye in the Sinnoh League tournament. Well, that's just Cap Donald. Pretty sure it took like four of Ash's Pokemon to take out the Dark Rye. Septile just delivered the final blow. Yeah, well, you're just fucking wrong. Oh, Shalama, Ash's oh, what? other Pokemon died to Dream Eaters, so Dark Rye was essentially at full health when Septile came in. Yeah, Omaba, get your facts straight. Why are you guys purposely mispronouncing my name? Because you're wrong, Odama. Hey, Joe, do you think it's okay to say Obama's middle name? I'm guessing it's fine. Why do you ask? Yeah, what are you talking about, Donald? Well, because I think it depends on who's saying it. Ooh, okay, you got uh, me. Ah, get fucked, O'Trauma. Joe, that's not even an insult, it's just a joke. What are you saying? Ooh, a piece of candy. All right. Never mind. Going back a minute here, all right, Donald, maybe you have a point with that dark ride, but it makes me want to bring up another point. Oh, yeah? And what might that be, Barry? Okay, so in my opinion, Ash's Sinnoh team was his first good team. Kanto, Johto, and Hoenn had a bunch of unevolved guys and never really felt complete. And I don't really consider the Orange Islands team like an actual team, although it was a really good one with a great battle against Drake. Facts, yeah. Charizard doesn't make up for the fact that he ran a whole region with a Pikachu, a Bulbasaur, and a Squirtle. All right, what are you guys getting at here? And then some teams are absolute heat, like his final one for the Champions League, Champions and then some League. were booty like his Gen 5 team, which I hate to admit. Are we soccer players now? Donald, you know what I'm saying. I'm just curious, which team of Ashes is your guy's favorite and why? Oh, why? Hmm, oh my God, question, Joe, seriously, Barry. fuck off. Don't talk like that to the birthday boy, you bitch. Okay, so I think you're right. Uh, uh, the obvious answer is the world champions team, but it really is cool to see how far he progressed from his Kano team all the way up to that overpowered bunch of gimmicky fuckers in that last team. True, Donald, that's a good point from a lore perspective. But I gotta give the award of favorite team to a Sinnoh team. It's where Ash finally let go of that stupid evolution restriction he seemed to always put on himself. To me, it's when he actually started to feel like a main character that could accomplish something. An infernape with a cool backstory, Torterra and Staraptor are badass. He got his first dragon type and Gibble, so he started to learn how difficult those guys are to train, and even some random other really cool mons like Gliscor. Yeah, not to mention the fact that he actually started to show promise in the league battles. Good points, Joe. It's just unfortunate that he took everything he learned and seemed to just throw it away when he got to Unova. If I remember correctly, the only fully evolved mon he had in there was his Unpheasant, who let's face it, is like the worst starter bird. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have even remembered he existed until you brought him up, Obama. Yeah, fuck you, Unpheasant. Anyway, Joe, good answer. Donald, what do you think? Easy answer. I'm gonna have to go with his Kalos team. Lots of insane battles, but more importantly, he completely turned around how mid his Gen 5 team was into what was easily his best team at the time. Every single one of his Pokemon were at their full potential. He actually had two fully evolved dragons in Gudra and Noivern. Talonflame was actually a good starter bird on the team, which was a rare sight to see. Pikachu and Greninja need no explanation. And Halucha was, well, I don't know, some nacho fucking Libre bird thing. Damn, Donald, that was such a heat argument all the way until that last comment. I don't know what you're smoking, Obama. That was like the best part of my argument. I saved it for last. How Lucha's goaded. All right, true. The Kalos team oh my God, is fuck pretty this sick. Lydia, bitch. Ash Greninja is pretty much inarguably in Ash's top three Pokemon all time. Your turn, Obama. What's your favorite one of Ash's teams? All right. I feel like you guys are actually going to shit on me for this answer. But my favorite one of his teams is actually going to have to be his original Gen 1 team. Now, what that's the fuck? not it. Are Obama. you actually a closeted Gen 1 or Barack? 
No Donald, you ass. I'm not a closeted Gen 1. Then explain yourself, Barry. Ash's Gen 1 team is ass. Literally the only decent Pokemon he had recognized Ash as a little bitch boy and wouldn't listen to First him. First of all, don't call Ash a little bitch boy Donald. That's disrespectful. Yeah, seriously, what the hell, DT? But as for you, Osama. Okay, seriously, not that's Osama. That's a fat L of a take. I agree the season as a whole is memorable, but the team itself is booty. All right, well, regardless, it's still my favorite team. Some of my favorite Pokemon found their way on the squad at some point or another, like Haunter, Kingler, Primeape, and plenty of others. Primeape. And it was when Ash Donald really Chill. learned how to value the idea of a cohesive Pokemon team in the first place. Mm, nah, still lame. All right, whatever, Donald, you can eat my ass. In your dreams, buddy boy. All right, you guys are making this weird as hell. Viewers, make sure to let us know in the comments which one of Ash's team from the anime is your favorite. Be careful, though, if you choose wrong, you might have to eat Obama's ass. Holy shit, guys, we're moving on. This is actually an interesting situation here. Last time we actually narrowed down Sky's hidden power to bug, fire, ice, fighting, flying, or poison, I think. And since it's super effective against Kadabra here, I think that means we can confirm it as bug type. Which is shit, give him Giga Drain for sure. Yeah, I still like the idea of Screech and Dig, because it's like the real grow vile from the Explorers of Sky game. But do we really need both Leaf Blade and Giga Drain? Yeah, so if you think I'm actually getting rid of Leaf Blade, you are high on crack. I think because we are doing a no items in battle run, you can justify having both of them on the same moveset. What else are we gonna put on him anyway? That's a fair point. I mean, he does get Dragon Claw, which is special in this generation. So it's actually a pretty good move to put on a Sceptile, but we won't have access to that until we beat the last gym anyway, so we don't really have to think about that yet. All right, that's actually a damn good point, Donald. When we get there, we can revamp the moveset, but for now, I'm just gonna keep things as is. If it's not broke, don't fix it, you know? Holy shit, Obama, will you just talk like a normal human being? What's with all the aphorisms? Yeah, didn't you say something during the last showdown episode about shitting in someone else's toilet? Joe, you fuck, weird, I said same shit, different toilet to describe our new account name. It yeah, made no, sense. Obama, it was weird, don't even try. Anyway, are we done with this route yet? I can see why no one cares to explore this place. It's just a bunch of shit battlers and nothing new to care about. Yeah, all right, let me just take care of these Girl Scouts real quick, then we Did can get out of Girl here. Did you say Girl Scouts? Obama, what the fuck is wrong with you? You knew this would happen. Shit, Joe, they oh, aren't Girl Scouts Oh, why, hello anymore. there, lovely little ladies. All right, we're getting the hell out of here now. Ladies, remember to apply my birthday discount, please. Joe, you cannot be referring to a couple of six-year-olds as ladies. That is weird. Okay, well, yes, they may be young, Donald, but they are also running a business. So I'm just giving them the respect they deserve. They're not fucking Girl Scouts, Joe. All right, you're on strike one for the day. I'm giving you three because it's your birthday, okay? We're moving on. Obama, please change the subject, please. With pleasure, Donald. All right, so... We're finished up on that route. We got some good training in, but now it's time to take care of some actual plot here. With the Acrobike, we can go straight north from Lava Ridge into the Magma Hideout. Just another reason why the Acrobike is superior to the Mach Bike Donald. I literally don't care about the difference between the two Obama. I just wanted Joe to pick the Mach Bike because I knew it would piss you oh, off. Oh, right. Uh I forgot you're an instigating prick when it comes to that sort of thing, Donald. Anyway, gonna Damn fix right these I items am. real quick. Titan could benefit from the Quick Claw, and Minnie can, well, Minnie can do whatever she wants. Yeah, Donald's dumbass forgot to pick up the spell tag from Mount Pyre last episode. So Minnie doesn't really have a good item for right now, considering Mango gets the silk scarf. That being said, Obama, you can still give her like a berry or something. Yeah, good point, Joe. I just realized that too. We are going into the magma place, so might as well give her a Ross berry just in case. All right, there we go. Now let's go deal with these terrorists known as Team Magma. But for now, watch this drive. What's up, boys? Did you call for me? Jesus Christ, what an incredibly forced introduction. Hey, George, good timing. We're about to go into the magma hideout. Okay. And I'm about to go into your mama's hideout. Like, what the All fuck right. does this have Cat to do with me? Mama, get absolutely bodied. You better have burn heal after that one. You guys are literally being bullies, and it's all because you know that I don't actually care what you guys say to me. 
Like, you guys are literal trolls who can't even have a political debate without turning America into the laughing stock of the entire world. You know that, right? Jesus Christ amoeba, you don't have to get personal with it. Did you just call me a fucking amoeba? Yeah, all right. You know what, Obama? I'm sorry. We'll tone things down a little bit from here on out. Just take us through this idiotic hideout so we can get our beloved septile already. Joe, what the hell is going on with your profile picture? What did you just come from, a quinceanera or something? Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? Yes, George, that's exactly what happened. Now, you know, I'm just messing with you, J-Dog. Happy birthday, big fella. How old are you turning this year? 40? <laughs> now, this thousand? year marks, wait, what? I asked, how old are you turning? 40,000? Quite the modest estimate, George. Very polite of you. I'm 81, you dickheads. Jesus Christ, the leader of our country, is 81 years old, guys. Donald, if you actually somehow manage to convince America to put you back in office next year, you would be 81 by the time you finish serving, too. Yes, Joe, but the difference is I don't act like an Alzheimer's patient, and you do. Holy shit, guys, this is getting way too political for a Pokemon run. Do you guys do this all the time? Unfortunately, yes, George, we do. And I haven't found out how to prevent it yet. Why does everyone have the same fucking Pokemon? Like, don't these people rob everyone else in the region? Is it that hard to throw on a swallow or something instead of a million mighty Annas? Well, I think the whole point is that these guys are grunts, so they're given crappy Pokemon. Like, if they don't even get a name, do you think they'll be given any sort of half-decent party? Baltoy seems like an interesting one to have, though. I can see it being evil. Claydol reminds me of that evil eye thing that Pegasus has in season one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Holy shit, Joe, that's actually a super base take. I respect it. Yep, something unique and then right back into the goddamn zoo bat. Yeah, exactly, George. Obama, to counter your point about how the grunts aren't given good Pokemon, why do they even need to be given Pokemon in the first place? There's literally an infinite supply of badass Pokemon out there that they can go get themselves. On top of that, if they somehow can't afford Pokeballs, which would be ridiculous if that were true, there's like a thousand lying around on the ground all over the place. Donald, I don't necessarily disagree with you. I'm just trying to offer an explanation here. And on top of all that, Jesus Obama, Christ. they could also just go to the safari zone if they want. Hell, they can just break into it and they'll be fine. All the safari balls are there and there's a bajillion Pokemon there too. Holy shit, Donald, okay, fine, you're right. The grunts are retarded. Whoa, they're Obama. Chill, chill, chill. You can't say that shit, Obama. What are you, retarded? Donald, what the hell? Yeah, seriously, Obama, you can't say retarded on YouTube. We'll be censored. All right, fine, guys, let's take a step back here. I will admit, the Gen 3 evil team grunts are probably the worst of the bunch. In the other games, you may see evil scientists or burglars tied in with like Team Rocket or Team Galactic and whatnot, but in here, it's just a bunch of grunts aimlessly wandering around a secret base. All right, Obama. I'm not gonna let you talk about Magma Admin Courtney like that. I know a lot of people in the comments who are gonna shit on you for that one. She is queen. So cringe, Joe. All right, to be fair, I was not talking about any of the actual admins, like Tabitha or Courtney or Shelly. I was more so talking just about the low-level grunts. But I do have to agree with you, Joe. Courtney is queen. Holy shit, you two are absolutely pushing me to my limit today. Joe, I'm doing a little research here, and it may result in you getting strike number two if it comes down to it. What are you looking up, Donald? I fucking knew it, you groomer boomer. Courtney is 17 years old. Oh, shit. I'm calling the feds on your ass. Strike number two, bitch. One more, and I'm kicking you out of the call. I don't care whose birthday it is. All right, Donald, let's tone it down a little bit. Remember episode one, when Joe climaxed over the idea of May's feet. Excuse me, he did what I think now? we have a lot of progress that we should be celebrating. Silver lining here, Donald. I hate the fact that you have a point here, Obama. Actually, wait, hold on a minute, you fuck. You, you called her queen, too. I'm not just ignoring that shit. You two are revolting. Okay, that's whatever. Can we go back to what you just said about Joe in episode one? Yeah, no, I don't think we should go back to that, guys. I feel like we've barely talked about the gameplay this entire episode. True, Joe. Not much to talk about, though. Just a bunch of repetitive battles. I can't wait for us to get to Maxi. At the end of this, only for Groudon to fly away because the blue orb pisses him off. 
Yeah, I do have one very distinct memory of when I was playing Ruby. Wow, that's kind of hard to believe. I remember being very confused at the time. All right, never mind. Not that hard to believe then. Fuck you, Lil D. Get on with it, Joe. What's the confusing memory? So like in Ruby and Sapphire, they pretty much just replace the evil teams with each other in their locations. So in Ruby, you just randomly have Groudon show up in the seafloor cavern because that's already just where Kyogre is. And they didn't feel like changing right. it. Where are you going with this shit, Joe? Yeah, I stopped carrying like 20 seconds Let me finish, ago. you fucks. All right, so in Sapphire, it makes sense because it's Kyogre sitting in a seafloor cavern. But in Ruby, why the hell is Groudon in the seafloor cavern too? Like they literally just replaced the water Kai Ogre is literally sitting in with magma and called it a day. All right, Joe, so I don't know how many times we have to tell you this, but Ruby and Sapphire just aren't good Pokemon games. You take that Completely back. overshadowed by the brilliance that is Pokemon Emerald. This guy's line always cracks me up talking about how he hates how he got stationed next to this lava pit. Maybe if he had some better fucking Pokemon, he wouldn't have to deal with it. See, look at this shit. The dude has a single zoo bat. That is downright depressing. Yeah, nothing our trusty Titan can't take care of with a rock tomb. Yeah, wait, can we talk about that for a second? We are relying on a 50 power 80 accuracy move as our best move on Titan. Can we not get rock slide on him sooner or later? Actually, Donald, the Eggron line doesn't learn any rock attacks by level up, and rock slide is only available as a tutor from the battle frontier. So unfortunately, rock, tomb, and rollout are our only options here. Pretty disappointing, I That's agree. actually stupid as hell. In fire red and leaf green, you get the rock slide tutor for free after like the third gym. But in this game, you have to go beat the post game, essentially. Something like that, George, it's unfortunate. Wait, so what are we looking at as Titan's potential move set down the line then? We're gonna keep Rock Tomb and Iron Tail, I guess, but then what? Well, yes, I'm thinking those two moves are good. And then since ours is Rockhead, I think we should utilize the double edge move tutor in Cetopolis. And then it's probably gonna end up being Earthquake. All out attack for this guy. All right, I like that, Obama. You should probably get the final say on the move set since he was your pickup in the first place. Ooh, okay, okay, I like that rule. So that means I get to say for Mango. In that case, I'm giving Mango return. We still have to get that TM in the first place. The return TM is going on either Mini or Mango for sure because of Stab, and there's no way I'm letting that shit go to waste on a fucking Kecleon. Wait, now hold on. Technically, Kecleon was my pick. And maybe I want to see Kecleon get returned. Yeah, absolutely fucking not, George. That's getting overruled immediately. Yeah, George, I don't think I can justify giving you any moveset power here. You're not actually participating in the run with us. M maybe you can play in the platinum run, but not this one, man. All right, fine, whatever. Okay, so return for the reliable stab, fly for flying coverage stab, facade for the utility, and steel wing for the coverage. I think that's a good set for Mango. I can be happy with. All right, that's not a bad set, Donald. I like it. Since we're on the topic, Joe, what do you think the final set for Ruby should be? Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, Thunderbolt, and what else? Did I stutter? Probably. All right, honestly, yeah, Joe Thunderbolt might actually be the only move you need. Yeah, when we get to the Elite Four, I am completely down to delete every move on Ruby besides Thunderbolt just to prove a, a point. Viewers, I hope you hold Dilzan accountable to that because that would be hilarious. Yeah, speaking of viewers, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to show some support to the channel, we have a goal of hitting 5,000 subs by the end of the year, so help us crush that. Good call to action. Donald, well done. Anyway, looks like we're up against Magma Admin Tabitha here. Pretty much just a warm up to Maxi whom we'll have to deal with right after this. What kind of a goddamn name is that? Who thought to give a male admin the name Tabitha? Don't be rude, George. There could be Tabitha's watching this video when it's posted. Yeah, no chance in hell, Joe. Tabitha is a girl name, and we have like 0.9% of our viewers being female. And George is right. Tabitha is a weird name. All right, that last part there was completely unnecessary, Donald. I personally apologize to any Tabithas watching this video right now. 
But anyway, Pringles is actually bodying this dude single-handedly. And did you expect it any other way, Obama? Pringles is the GOAT. Joe Wiz Cash is still inarguably one of the worst water types in the game. I'd say it goes Love Disc, then, uh, um, yes, probably Wiz Cash. Only Love Disc is worse. Oh, yeah, Donald. You think so? Yes, obviously. And watch the shitty water type, as you say. Absolutely disown this camel here. Joe, it's fucking quad weak to water. I can drop a glass of water at its feet, and it would pass out. Don't make a big deal out of this before I give you your third strike. All right, I don't know what you have planning with these strikes, Donald, but we don't need to think about it. Pringles took care of Tabitha here and got to level 35, but I still want to make sure we get Sky up to 36, too. I kind of saved him for the end here as a climax to the episode. Maxi leads with a mighty Anna. So this should be okay for him. True, and he's like one Pokemon away from evolving. So just don't let him faint in this battle, no matter what you do about Yeah, there's absolutely no way he's gonna faint here, guys. Sounds like a lot of foreshadowing going on here, if you ask me. And thankfully, no one did George, anyway. Oof, get shit on George. Yeah, all right, fuck you, Trumpy. Yeah, here we are. Yes, Maxi, please use the blue orb to awaken the giant red monster surrounded by red lava in the red hideout while you are worshiping it with your red clothing and red hair and red Pokemon. What could go wrong? Oh, whoops, there he goes. Flying into outer space. Totally didn't see that coming. Wasn't the blue orb the key, he says. Yeah, Obama. If I may just get this one passed this one time, please. This guy is retarded. Facts. All right, you know what, guys, whatever. Can we just, for once during this whole episode, focus on the battle in front of us here? I'm begging you guys, let me just lead the way here this time, for our viewers' sake. Well, personally, I would say, fuck the viewers, Obama. But sure, take us through this. Like, this is actually some sort of difficult battle or something. Yeah, so he wasted a turn here going for Scary Face, so it looks like another Leaf Blade is a roll. Great start, Maxie. Don't use an attacking move. Great plan. Okay, unless he heals him up, so never mind. Back to square one. Um, actually, it looks like he isn't fully healed, so the roll is ever so slightly more in our favor now. Yeah, this guy is still a joke. Oh, okay, never mind. He's making plays out here, okay, King? Damn, we're actually pretty underleveled here. I had no idea. We might actually be in for some trouble if he decides to annoy us with, like, Confuse Ray and whatnot. But for now, I'm just gonna switch right into Ruby and let her take care of him. Probably a good plan in the off chance that we actually can't get a hit off. We still have Titan to tank a billion moves and kill with a rock tomb or two. Hopefully it's not gonna come down to that, Donald. But. You're right, we do have options. I'm not sure if this Thunderbolt is enough for a knockout here. Yeah, Crobat is surprisingly bulky. An S-tier Nuzlocke Mon for Damn, sure. Damn, it really did live. Looking forward to using one in the Platinum run down the line. Same Donald, a very reliable Pokemon. And holy shit, did Quick Attack really not kill there? Yeah, noob alert not knowing your ranges, Obama. Actually, George, you're the noob. If Crobat got a flinch with bite, we were screwed. But Obama disallowed that chance by outspeeding and guaranteeing the, the two shot with quick attack. Yeah, get fucked, George. Holy shit, Joe, the birthday boy is popping off with the logic. Now watch this shit. Mango on the ground, move prediction. I'm a beast. Hell yeah, Obama, play around this poser. He's got nothing on you. Oh, what the fuck are you All joking? Right now, can I call Obama a noob again? Or is this somehow still the optimal play and I'm the idiot here? Yeah, no, Obama is a total noob for that one. Wow, quick to switch sides there, Donald. I thought you had my back. All is well, Obama. Just switch into Pringles. He will take care of things on his own. Don't worry. Yeah, actually massively underleveled here, boys. Luckily, Maxie has the IQ of a fourth grader high on meth. So I think things will be fine this time around. That being said, it might be a bit more difficult by the time we get to the space station or by the time we have to deal with Lies and Tate in the seventh gym. I'd argue they are the hardest gym battle in the game. Up there with Watson considering we had to do it without the Marsh Stomp or Combuskin. So I guess I was wrong about the super potion thing earlier. Unless he just really loves using super potions on Mightyena and not his Crobat, I guess. But anyway, yeah, Donald. We could definitely benefit from a little bit of training, but I already did that earlier this episode, and we aren't exactly struggling with the battles just yet, so let's just play it by ear. Yeah, not struggling yet. 
until this derpy ass Pringles keeps hitting himself in confusion. George gets it. Now hold on now, keep him in Obama. Pringles will prevail here, I can feel it. He'll snap out of it for sure. I hope you're right, Joe. Let's see what he can do. And we'll, we'll look at that, Joe, you were right. There marks the end of the battle. That was actually a fun one there. Yes, end of the battle. But more importantly, sky is evolving. George, last time this happened, you fucked everything up, so everyone, please just shut up. Turning it up, boys, enjoy it. All right, yeah, that cry was badass as hell. Septile, in general, is just a complete badass. Looks a little chunky in this Gen 3 Sprite, but we still love him nonetheless. All right, great. So if you guys are done blowing your load over Septile oh, here, you should probably. Oh, I haven't even begun to finish blowing my load over Septile George. Do you Septile really have to say it like that, Joe? Septile is such a fucking beast. And he is equipped with the coolest signature move in the game. His design is peak. His performance in the anime is peak. And he isn't a completely overplayed starter like Swampert. And he isn't the beginning of the stupid fire fighting type starters like the Torchic line is. Joe, I was about to kick you from the call on a strike three for talking about blowing your load over Septile, but you redeemed yourself with the base takes on him. So congrats, birthday boy. My present to you is not banning you from this Discord server. Happy birthday, Joseph. Thank you, Donald. Yeah, happy birthday, JB. And thank you, GB. All right. I think this is a great place to end the episode, guys, on this wholesome note. Viewers, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't yet, make sure to leave a comment on your favorite one of Ash's teams throughout the anime. And make sure to leave a, a happy birthday for Joe while you're at it. If you aren't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Seriously. Help us out here. We really want to see if we can hit 5,000 before the end of the year. And if we can, well, who knows? That'll just make Dilzan happy. Make sure to join the Discord if you aren't in there yet. The link is in the description. With that all out of the way, we will catch you guys in our next installment of the Showdown series. Peace out. <laughs>